Hello. Now, after you have sustained a seizure or a fit, it is important to be adequately investigated and treated if necessary. Now, how are these investigations done? So, the two most important investigations after a seizure are an electroencephalogram, EEG, which measures the brain waves. And by measuring the brain waves, it is possible to detect, detect seizure activity in the brain. Sometimes no seizure activity is detected, but you may still have had a fit. It is also important to do an MRI, magnetic resonance imaging of the brain, which will show the structures of the brain and whether you have had any previous injuries to the brain or whether you have any developmental abnormalities of the brain which can predispose you to getting a seizure. And my patients will ask me, why should I be treated? I feel well now. I had a seizure. I was jerking. I fell to the ground. I became unconscious. But I'm all good now. So why should I be treated? It is important to be treated because every time you have a seizure, there is a chance of physical injury. So you can imagine the type of physical injuries that you may get. If you're near the water, you may drown. If you're near the stove cooking and you had a seizure, you may sustain burn, burns injury. You may fall down and have a fracture. You may dislocate your shoulder and that is very painful. If you were driving and you had a seizure, you can imagine the calamity. You may knock a divider, you may knock another car, you may sustain injuries to yourself and the person driving the other car may be injured as well. So every, every time you have a seizure, there's always a chance of physical injury. In addition, in some people, the seizure does not stop within less than 5 minutes. In 90% of people, the seizure stops in less than 5 minutes. But in some people, they develop a seizure, they become unconscious and they develop a seizure again and they never regain consciousness and they continue developing seizures. This condition is called status and it is a life-threatening condition. You need to be brought to the hospital as soon as possible. Medication will be given in the emergency. You need to be admitted to the ICU and medication needs to be given intravenously for a few days. The third reason you need to be treated is there is a risk of sudden death every time you develop a generalized fit. It is a very small risk, but you should be aware and about it. This condition is called SUDEP, S-U-D-E-P, Sudden Unexpected Death in Epilepsy. Now, the exact cause is not known, but it happens when someone gets a generalized fit or seizure. It may cause the heartbeat to become irregular. It may cause you to stop breathing. Mostly tends to occur at night and it tends to occur in people who sleep prone. That is, you sleep face down. So it can happen in children, in babies, it can also happen in adults. So it is important to be treated because there is always this very small risk of SUDEP happening. The fourth reason you need to be treated is if you get repeated seizures, they can cause damage to the brain cells and they may cause shrinkage of the brain cells. So ultimately, with damage of the brain cells and shrinkage of the brain cells, you will have additional problems like memory difficulties. There is good early and effective therapy available so that we prevent recurrences of the seizure. Now, after a first seizure, your risk may be as high as 40 to 50% within the first two years or it may be as low as 20 to 30 percent within the first two years. So it is important to have early and effective treatment in order to prevent this recurrence. Now what is the treatment of epilepsy? So we have good drugs available for treatment of epilepsy. Epilepsy treatment has been around for a very long time. 
from the 1950s onwards, we have the older drugs and we have newer drugs as well. The older drugs work just as well, but they have more side effects. The side effects being dizziness, sleepiness, sometimes difficulty concentrating. The newer drugs work well, but they have less side effects. Some drugs work when you have focal seizures or seizures on one side of the brain. Some drugs work when you have generalized seizures or seizures involving both sides of the brain. Besides medication, in some people, ketogenic diet is advised to control the seizures. Now, I'm sure you've heard of ketogenic diet as a modality to lose weight. But this is ketogenic diet in the case of epilepsy. Now, in ketogenic diet, the brain uses fat rather than carbohydrate as a fuel source. So it is less dependent on glucose as an energy source and it is more dependent on fat metabolism. Now, fat metabolism produces ketones. So the brain uses these ketones as an energy source. And by use, use, using these ketones and not using glucose, the chances of seizures reduces. Besides medication and ketogenic diet, what else can be done for a seizures? There are more invasive surgeries and there are also less invasive surgeries. So that depends on the type of epilepsy that you have. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.